Oh, on. Move to the back. Go ahead, move to the back. Thank you. You are the good ta- guitar section back there. Go ahead, Stephen. Go back there with him. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Uh, we're live. I know. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I know we're live. It's all right. I'm just getting this situated. Sila, Sila, go back there, please. Right now. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bill, so it's out of the frame. There it goes. We ready? Yes, we're ready. We're live. There is coming a day days to compare that day with. (laughs) Praise the Lord. This is one of them days you compare with that glorious day that we're going to go meet the Lord. It seems like everything went wrong this morning, or almost went wrong. (laughs) Brother Don is not here. He's down in his back. Sister Lee's up in New York, and uh, we're going to do Sunday school in the um, sanctuary this morning because I'm going to teach everybody. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Cindy's car didn't start, so uh, Sister Tammy went to get her. Now she's having to get ready to come on to church. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of different things happen. I almost forgot Sister Rita <laughs> that I remembered went and got her. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're, we're just having a day, and when one day we're going to have a glorious day. And that was going to be a wonderful time. So this morning we've got a lot of things we really need to pray about. And um, so I'm going to give the prayer requests that have been turned in to me. Um, Sister Selena's mother really needs prayer. She's got some bad health is- issues, if y'all remember Sister Selena's mother. And uh, Sister Robin has a cold and wants to be healed from that. Of course, Brother Don with his back. Y'all remember that. Lord, heal him so he can come and preach tonight. He needs healing from that. Sister Rita, tell us about the one you had. Um, there's a pastor from the first aid that's in the hospital. And he's really What's his name? Um, yes, yes. Uh, Can't remember, but, sis, but the pastor from Kentucky. Oh, Brother Alcorn. Brother Alcorn. Alcorn, 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 like acorn only, Alcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brother Alcorn. Uh, Remember Gail and Jimmy? Uh, He's having uh, the treatments, radiation treatments. Remember um, Sister Amber? She's having radiation treatments. 
remember um, someone else had is you remember, y'all remember who that was? Somebody else is having radiation treatments. Anyhow, the other one that I can't remember right now is having radiation treatments. Um, remember Sister Netta about a job? <clears throat> is she sick? No, she's not. She's coming. Okay. Um, somebody else. Oh, I remember too, brother, uh, sister, uh, Cindy's neighbor, Jerry, has cancer. Pray for him. Um, seems like there was someone else on my phone that I was I told her to pray for. Go ahead. Do you have anything, Sister Ann? Uh, lost family. Okay. Praise the Lord. You had something, Clayton? Um, I didn't even raise my hand, but I was thinking about something, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> Great. So basically, last year, we usually go to see family in the winter. And last year, I got really sick. And my, I guess you could say, grandpa's dad. Mm -hmm. uh, Great grandpa? Yeah, my mom. Wait, no, my dad's side, but my dad's mom's side, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, last year, we went to go see him, and I was super sick. And he's, he's very close to going home mm -hmm. and I'm not that I don't want him to you know be happy and go home but also pray that I can see him while I'm in health and because last time I didn't really get to see him because right. if I went around him then he could get really sick and so just pray right. that I can see him this way. Were you great grandpa? Okay. Somebody else? I do have another spike. Okay. Like, or or you? Yeah. Or cut her foot if y'all remember it. Yeah. Nehemiah? Okay. Pray for my friend. Okay. Pray for my friend. Um, she still has that cough. Okay. Um, praise the Lord. I know there's one I have forgotten on the, on the phone. If you just remember that unspoken request that I can't remember, but, um, Uh, anything else? Pray for all those people that I made contact with in the signs line we were at yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord would just bless them. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Let's remember Lee. Mm -hmm. I think all the things that are um, happening right now makes her want to wish she was home. But pray for her that she'll just be satisfied to enjoy her trip because... Uh, there's nothing really to do. We're just going to take care of business down here, and God's going to help us. He always does. So, anything else? All right, let's go to prayer and believe the Lord. Oh, I remember now. I just remember. Uh, Sister Lynn Harding's son, Bobby. Mm. The devil's trying to cause him to commit suicide. And he's been into devil worship. And I want every one of us to plead the blood against that suicide devil that it couldn't happen. That, she, that he would be delivered from that, what the devil's trying to do to him. And um, seems like there was one more. It may be the Lord help me to remember it. But please remember, Bobby. Lord, we take it on. Father, we praise you. And thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We appreciate your goodness. To us, Lord, you're good to us. We need you. And oh, this morning, Lord, we pray for Brother Don that you'd heal his back. Lord, we pray for Bobby, Lord, that you would I plead the blood over him that the devil could not cause him to commit suicide. I plead the blood. Oh, I ask for your help, Lord God, for Selena's mother, Lord, she needs healing. Lord, ask for your help, God, for all of these requested prayers. Sister Annie's unspoken request. Oh, glory to God. This Kentucky pastor, Brother Alcorn, will you heal his body? God, we pray for help in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. Please, we ask for your help. Jimmy, with that radiation, Lord, God, we pray for him. We pray for him. Sister Amber with the radiation, Lord, we pray for Jerry, God, with his 
cancer, we pray for deliverance, Lord. We ask for help, Father, for Nehemiah's friend, God. We pray that you heal her. And Lord, we pray for your help, Lord God, for those people that Brother Jose was with. Lord, in Jesus' name out there, we ask for help, dear Father, for all of us, Lord, this morning. We're in your hands. We pray. Lead the blood, claim liberty and victory, God. Lord, help Sister Martha. Lord, help all of us, Lord, today. We praise you and ask you for your help. Your word has promised us help, Lord. We ask for it this morning. Oh, thank you for everything. Just like it is, Lord. There's nothing we can't do. We praise you and ask you for your help in everything. Oh, glory to God. Forgive me, Lord. Help me to do what you can please me to do. Lord, pray for your help. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your help this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Help each one of us, Lord. Help Lee up there with her trip, Lord. Help her be satisfied. Help her know it's okay, that we're going to make it all right. Help her believe the Lord's commandments. Oh, we thank you and praise you for all your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. My Oh, my Father, help us, my Father, help us, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you for the power in your help. I love you and thank you, Lord. Thank you and love you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. God, we believe you for mommy. We believe you, Lord. For the help, Lord God, all these need, Father. We pray for the unspoken request. We might have forgotten, Lord. Pray for your help, Jesus. For Selena's mama. For Bobby, Lord. We pray for your help, God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name, Lord God. Hallelujah, help, Lord. Help up there with Sister. We used to go to church. Help them all. Help that Kentucky Lester, God. Help us all, Jesus. Help us this evening. God, we count on you, Father, for all the help we have to the Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to have Sunday school here. What? Yes. You want to turn it down? Hallelujah. Uh, turn it down, son. Um, we're going to start. We're just going to have our Sunday school in this class all together. And uh, I think I'm going to stay up there. Now, uh, uh oh, see. Um, Brother Jose, if you go back there, there's a box of uh, the chips. That's what we're going to have for a snack. Everybody wants one. We're going to have our snacks. Of course, you know, when you're in my class, you have snacks. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Pick you one out. Everybody can have a snack. And um, we just, if when you get your snack, then you can have water to drink when you get through. <clears throat> Pick out whichever one you want. Welcome my, all the grown ups to my class. I'm really glad for you to be here. <laughs> Sometimes you have different classes and it's, it makes it more interesting. You hear a bunch of crunching, the snacks or chips. <laughs> Hallelujah. When, Brother Jose, when you get through with that, if you want to make some cups with water in front of you, everybody will need one. Thank you, Jesus. While y'all are having your snack, let's, let's thank the Lord for it. Ready? 
God our Father, God our Father, we thank you, we thank you for many blessings, for many blessings. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for this snack. Sanctify it for the nourishment of our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, our lesson today is God is preparing a bride for His Son. Is that interesting to y'all? God is preparing a bride for His Son. His, his Son's going to have a bride. I wonder who's going to be part of that bride. Because it's not just a person. It's a whole bunch of people that's the bride for His Son. But this morning, that's, how, that's what we're going to study. Now, I'm going to... Um, let everybody, I'm gonna, let me go get the board. Bill, is that board back there? Can I get it and the, and the um, marker? If you'll get it for me. Because while y'all are eating your snack, we're going to have a little uh, see if, a contest to see if somebody can guess the word that we're going to, I'm going to talk about. As soon as Bill brings me the board. So we'll give you a chance and you can guess a letter. And when you guess the letter, then if it goes in the, the name, then you then you can guess the guess the word. Okay. We'll see how that works. Okay, here he comes. You put it right there. Well, wherever they can see it right here best, I guess. All right. It's upside down. Thank you. So we got to be with it. Okay. Right, just turn around the back because it's clear. This is one of my old boards, brother, that brother Michael made for me. For take down to the kids. All right, now, Sister Rita, guess a letter while y'all are eating your snack. No, thank you. Okay. Guess a letter. S. No S. Okay. Clayton, guess a letter. Oh. O. No, no letter. I mean, O is not in it. Okay, who? Guess the letter. You need to draw the head in the No, guess the letter. Monty, guess the letter. Do you know one of the letters of the alphabet? Huh? Z. No Zs. Boy, y'all haven't got one yet. All right, then, my your turn. Yes, there's an A. Okay. It's the second letter. Can you guess a word? Um, animal. Nope. This is the second letter. How many letters are there? I ain't telling. <laughs> that that always tough. Um, <laughs> if it gets tough, I'll tell. Can I buy an e? Nana, go ahead. Um, I. No eyes. Can I, can I buy an E? E. You don't have to buy it, but you can have it. See, there's always no, a oh, That's on the end. All right. On the end. I think. Let's see how I spell it. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Can I guess the word? Yes. Rapture. Nana. Did she did. Really, she did really good at that game. Wow. Was it? I'm out. Oh, okay. See, let's say amen. All right, now I'm going to get another day, another word, because Sorry, nobody guessed it. Sorry. Oh, good job. Too quick. I thought I was going to have to give y'all hints and everything. All right, rapture. I didn't guess. I didn't know. Okay, one more word. Brother Jose, guess the letter. Uh, I. Yes, there's an I. Right there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh you, want, you got one? Guess. I was going to guess the word, but no. no. Guess it. Revival. Nope. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Gloria, go ahead. No ends. Is this Cindy? D. Yes. You know what? You know what word is? No? Sister Annie. She does. She knows what it is. What it is. Bride. Yes, bride is the right word. The bride goes in the rapture. Here comes Sister Martha. She can get in on it too. Okay, one more word since y'all are so quick and so... Oh, know what you're doing about this game. All right, <clears throat> wait a minute, uh, huh? You did prepare this for these, and they were guessing Z. And, and <laughs> 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 
Okay, this one is a name. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Wrong name. Wrong name. All right, it's Sister Martha's turn. Guess the letter. Oh, guess Sister Martha a snack, please. Thank you, brother. Guess the letter. A. Yes. Right there. Okay, can you guess it? The word? It's a name. Like a proper name? Uh huh. Joshua. A person's name. Nope. Okay, you, you try the. What? Go ahead. Want me to or yes. Michael? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, she said nope. heaven, so I'm thinking of an um, angel. All right. Wait. Y'all have to wait until it's your turn to guess. Okay. So it's, is, are we back around to Sister Rita? Yes. Guess a number. Our letter. A number. A letter. <laughs> S. No S. Clayton. Um. Just any letter, come on. Quick, B is there. Okay, it's a name. Oh. Oh, she already knows it. You got to have a letter first. Bill. M? No. No, yes. Money? Just a letter, any letter. Okay, we have to pass your line. Huh? P? P? No P. Okay. Um, y? No Y. Well, no, no. L? No L. I'm not going to. Go ahead. Because well, you couldn't if you thought it had L in it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess Y. No. C? No. L. Oh, somebody over here. No. J. No. Somebody said I. I thought. I the wrong one the bottom. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. D. R. 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 <laughs> what? Uh, rap shack. That's a good guess. <laughs> rap shack. <laughs> Man, Michael would call that rap shack. <laughs> What's your name? You. You. No, you. You gotta wait till you get your turn, sister, and she knows it. All right, Monty, you got one? No. Nehemiah? Um, you got it. Oh, my word. It's my turn. All right, then. It's, it, it's my turn. It is your turn, but you got to get a letter first. Um, Before you guess. Yes. Now can I guess? Yes. Rebecca. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, you only name her one E? Rebecca. You <laughs> <laughs> only name her one E. Well, I mean, I well, as soon as she said eight, so I'm like, oh, I know. Yeah, that. she knew it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on our lesson. Everybody got, got finished with your snack? Hallelujah. That was very informative about this smart class we got here. God is preparing a bride for his son. We're going to learn about that. And to speak about the word Rebecca, I looked up her name to see what it meant. You know what it meant? A noose or a rope. Really? A noose or a rope. But it says, as of a maiden who ensnares by her beauty. As of a maiden who ensnares by her beauty. You know, you, if your name Rebecca, it means you got you got your robe out for, to trap somebody by your beauty. Oh, so that's not my name. <laughs> Although Linda does mean pretty. <laughs> <laughs> There's this girl that came to our, uh, came to let me read to her, and her name was Beautiful. And I thought, what mother would name her child Beautiful? And then I thought, that's my name. <laughs> Only it's in Spanish. <laughs> it's what I get for judging, right? <laughs> it come right back on me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so interesting. But look, God is preparing a bride for His Son. That's what we're going to study today. If you remember, some of you haven't been in our class, but we've been studying about Abraham and Sarah. And we've been studying about Isaac. Isaac is uh, Abraham and Sarah's son. When, oh my, he was 100 and she was 90. I mean, it was like an old age child, wasn't it? Gloria, put that down and tell me what Isaac means. Laughter. Yes, it means laughter. Because both Abraham and, I, and Sarah laughed about Abraham, Isaac being born to them. They both laughed, and so they named him Laughter. Well, he was such a delight. It was such a wonderful thing for them to have Isaac. And he was the child of the promise. He had, they'd already had uh, Ishmael. She gave her handmaid to Abraham, and he had a son named Ishmael. But this was the child of the promise. And there were things that happened in Isaac's life, like when God told uh, Abraham to take um, Isaac up and sacrifice him. He did. And he, Abraham obeyed him. He took him up and he had him all bound up on the altar and was just about to put the knife to him when God, he raised the knife when God spoke and said, Abraham, Abraham, don't do your son any harm. And he looked around and there was a ram caught in the bushes in the thistles. And he knew that, but he knew that Abraham would have obeyed him and was going to obey him to kill his only, but with him and Sarah, their only begotten son. And that really meant something to God that Abraham would trust him so much to obey him. And Abraham told Isaac when they went up there, that he told his men, he said, we'll go up there and worship and we'll come back. Because Abraham believed that God could raise him up. If he killed him, God could raise him up. So he was having faith in God the whole time about it. So Abraham was very, very uh, in love with his son. Loved Isaac so dearly. And so there came the day that Abraham was very old. And uh, he didn't want Isaac to marry any of the women around that in that area. He wanted Isaac to have a, a bride, but he wanted this bride to be somebody very special. He wanted Isaac to, to uh, have a bride of his family. And so he got Eliezer, his eldest servant, to come and promise him that he would go and look for Isaac, the bride that God had for him. And that he would go over to his people and paid an Aram and find that bride. And he made Eliezer promise him that he would not get him a bride from any of these people. All right, I can move back over if I need to. Okay. He made, he, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> so Isaac was uh, 40 years old or so, but uh, Sarah had died. And Isaac mourned for Sarah, and Abraham wanted Isaac to have somebody very special. So he sent Eliezer. He couldn't go himself because he was so old and feeble. He couldn't go, but he, he got Ele Ele Eliezer to go after Isaac's bride. So here comes Eliezer, and he comes up to the well where the women are usually come and draw water, and he prayed. So Eliezer knew God too because of living with Abraham. So he prayed and asked God, would he please send to the water to get water a woman, the woman that he wanted for Isaac's bride. And he prayed that she would come and offer him water to get him some water. And then he said, but not just me, but water my camels also. Now, he had ten camels. And from what I can hear, <clears throat> when a camel is thirsty, <clears throat> that camel's going to drink a bunch. And so there were ten of them. So here comes Rebecca. What did her name mean? 
and row for a noose of a maiden who ensnares by her beauty. <laughs> so Rebecca was a virgin. She was uh, beautiful. She was beautiful. And she came to the well to draw water. And Eliezer saw her. The ser Abraham's servant saw her. And he didn't know who she was. He just asked her, would you get me some water? And she said, oh, sure. She went and got him the water, and when she came back, she said, let me draw for your camels also. Oh, Woo! Praise God. Hell, he's And off she went, back and forth, back and forth, getting water out of the well and pouring it in the trough. Getting it out of the well, pouring it in the trough. Getting it out of the well, pouring it in the trough. Getting out of the well, pouring it in the trough. On and on and on she went. And she, he just watched her. He could have helped. They could have helped. But no, he was seeing. And that's what she did. She got water for the camels also. And so then he asked her, well, who are you? And she said, I am Rebecca, the daughter of Bethuel, who is the son of Nahor. And then he knew that Nahor is Abraham's brother. He knew that God had sent him and put him right in the right spot at the right time for Rebecca to come and answer his petition. So this servant was blessed, wasn't he? To find, to find a bride for Isaac. We guess, so far, it's working out pretty good. So he took jewels out and gave her jewels. And then he, she ran back and told her brother and her daddy, I met this man at the well. And, and uh, they said, well, where is he? Why didn't you bring him home? He's Abraham's servant. Why didn't you bring him home? So they came out and got him to come and brought all the camels and got, a, got them all something to eat and and prepared something for Eliezer to eat. And he said, I'm not going to eat until I tell. This is our Sunday school class. I'm not going to eat until I uh, tell my errand what I've come for. And so he started telling them about Abraham. Oh, he's rich. He's, he's very successful. He's got everything he could ever want. But his son needs a wife. And he sent me to his family to get him a bride. And I came today and I went to the well and I said, the woman that comes and says, let me give you water and then let me also give your camels water. Let that be the bride that you have for Isaac. And here comes your daughter, Rebecca. She came and did just what I asked. And I believe that God has put this together. And so they said, well, if this God's in this, that's fine. But then they said, let's ask the woman. Let's ask the woman. So they called Rebecca and said, will you go with this man? What do you think she said, Nehemiah? Will you go with this man? What do you think she said? Did she say yes? Or did she say no? She said yes. What do you think, Monty? Did she say yes or no? No. She said no. What do you think, Gloria? Did she say yes or no? Yes. How many think she said yes? Raise your, raise your hand. How many, th how many think she said no? Uh, Monty, you not only lost, but you were wrong too. She said yes. She said yes. Also, the servant had brought out more jewels, more gifts for their family. More gifts for their family. More gifts for Rebecca, for her brother, Laban, for all of them. He'd given them gifts. And I could just see Rebecca thinking, this is a lot different a life than I've ever lived. I think I want to go find out and it is a kinsman 
I mean, it's not going to be somebody that's totally strange. And so she said, yes, I'll go. She wanted to go. And so he, the mama and all of them, they asked, can he, she stay for a while? Can she stay for 10 days? Please don't take her right now. Look, he's offering up, he's over up showing the treasures that he's giving them. He gave them treasures. <coughs> Please don't take her away right now. And he said, no, don't hinder me now. God's already blessed me to find her. Don't hinder me. I'm going to take her. I'm going to take her. And so she and her nurse got on the camels and they started riding toward, back toward Abraham, back toward Isaac. And here she is. She's watching everything. And as she's riding along, perhaps the Eliezer is telling her what kind of family they are, what she would be expected to do, how uh, he, he, she will be treated good, and things like that. Maybe he brought out some more treasures to give her. I mean, we don't know all that happened on that trip. But during the trip, she was treated like, probably treated like royalty because she was the bride that was coming to marry the son of the household. So as they finally made it almost home to where uh, Abraham was, there was a man walking out in the field. He was walking out in the field and uh, it was Isaac. He was probably thinking about his mama thinking about missing her. And Rebecca saw him and she asked the servant, she said, who is that? He said, that's my master. And he met Isaac, he didn't meet Abraham. He said, that's my master. And so she got, put a veil on her face and she got down off of her camel and there she met Isaac for the first time. And the Bible said he took her into his, her mother's, his mother's tent and they became man and wife and they were happy with each other. So Abraham had sent for a bride and God had provided a bride for Isaac as someone to be his companion to make him happy. And so that is a wonderful story, isn't it? Very romantic, I think. I love that story in the Bible. And I love Rebecca. I love Isaac. I'm so glad that they got to be together. But I wanted to take that story and I want us to think about another bride. Another bride that has to be found and brought home. Another brother. Well, let's talk about the son first, won't you? Let's talk about the son. The son is God's only begotten son. It's Jesus, right? And it's God's only begotten son, and he is sent to this world and he was born in a stable they laid him in a manger and he grew up and he ministered to the whole all the people around telling them about God and telling them who his father was how many times sister Cindy do you think Jesus said my father I don't know. <laughs> it was a lot wasn't it he spoke of his father from Matthew Mark, Luke, and John, all through them, he's talking about his father. And he's saying that I don't say anything that my father doesn't want me to say. He was a completely obedient child. A completely obedient. When he was 12 years old, he went to the temple. Gloria, what did he say when Mary Joseph found him in the temple? What did he say? Um, don't you know that I have to be about my father's business? Yes, that's what he said. I must be about my father's business. So he was a beloved son. 
Sister Annie, did you ever hear that phrase about this is my? What? Well, how did that happen? When he was baptized with John. Yes. What happened? The uh, dove descended. Who was? What? Well, who was the dove? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And what? Then what happened? Glided on his shoulder and said, "This is my beloved son." Well, who said that? Well, God did. God did. Out of heaven, He said, "This is my beloved son." in whom I am well pleased. Now, it's time, it's always been time that God wants a bride for His Son. Like Abraham wanted a bride for His Son. Okay? So, but you remember how God had Abraham to take Isaac up to sacrifice him? Well, look what God did with His Son for us. It wasn't because we asked Him. It was because He wanted us to be saved. And He wanted His Son to have a bride. And all of us, we weren't beautiful and pure and clean like Rebecca was, were we? We were lost in sin. And so God knew if His Son was going to have a bride, that He had to get that bride ready. Right? And the way He chose to get the bride ready, Bill, how did He choose to get the bride ready? Do you have any idea? Let's just say that you were the bride. That you are the bride. Even though you're a man. There's men and women that are going to be the bride. Okay? What, did he what would he have to do to get you ready to marry Jesus Christ? Cleanse me of my sin. Uh -huh. Cleanse me of my sin. Cleanse you, yes, from your sin. And make you pure again. Right? And so in order to do that, he had to provide the sacrifice of his son. Mm -hmm. The wages of sin is death. And so Jesus took stripes on his back, carried his cross, and there he died on the cross of Calvary. He died. But did he stay dead? No. Three days later he rose again, didn't he, brother? He did. He rose from the dead. So even though he provided what we needed to be cleansed from our sins, what is that that we needed, Brother Jose, to be cleansed from our sins? His blood. We needed that blood. This morning, Bobby, that boy that I requested prayer for, he needs that blood. And we claim that blood for him. We're, we're claiming it for him. There's others all around us that need that blood. And Jesus, God knew that when His Son died on the cross, that it was to provide Himself a bride for Jesus. So, that's what happened. Now, so Jesus, even so today, He's alive, and He is going around knocking on hearts, doors, he said, if I die, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Didn't he? So he's drawing people to him to help them to love him and help them to be washed clean from their sins and help them to become his bride. Praise God. All right, so Jesus did his part. Now, let's talk about the servant. How the servant, Abraham, went and got, uh, well, called his servant to him. Let's look. Let me get that back there where Abraham called his servant to him. I think it's right. Find it. Okay, there it is. Abraham called his servant to him, and he sent his servant to get that bride. And we're going to, I'm going to let you know, 
that the, in the Old Testament, this story of the servant going to get the bride is a type. It means the Old Testament sometimes says things that's going to happen in the New Testament, only it's just kind of telling the story, but it really is going to happen in a different way. For example, the characters. The character Abraham is God in the New Testament. The character Eliezer, the servant, is the Holy Ghost. Alright? In the story, the Holy Ghost is the servant and God is Abraham. And God has a son. Who is he named? What's his name? Jesus. Jesus Christ, right? That's the son. Okay, so God has sent his servant, the Holy Ghost, to get Jesus a bride. A long time ago, he already died, didn't he? A long time ago, he shed his blood. A long time ago, he rose from the dead. And we feel his spirit knocking on our heart's door, making us call, causing us to love him. But the Holy Ghost has come to find his bride. Now, when you get in church, sometimes you feel that you need to repent. You need to go to the altar. You feel like you need to talk to the Lord about some of the ways you've been living and all that kind of thing. That What's happening in there is that Holy Ghost is trying to find the bride of Christ. Trying to see if you are the right one. Right? When she comes, what did he say? When she comes, she's going to offer me water. Lord, this is what I want. For her to offer me water and then offer to feed water my camels too. So he was trying out who was going to be the bride. And this is the way it is about the Holy Ghost. He'll come to you and He'll see if you are of the bride. Are you the bride? Are you the bride? Well, what will you do? Will you uh, sell out? Will you, I mean, sell out to Jesus? Will you want Him more than you want anybody else? Or anything else? That's what the bride is like. The bride is not some uh, somebody that... Well, I can take him or leave him. You know, I can take Jesus on Sunday and Monday. I don't care about Jesus. You know, Wednesday night, I might love him again, but then Thursday and Friday, it's time for me to party. Let me just tell you, that is not the bride. The Holy Ghost comes to you and He's showing you what... He's letting you show Him what you are and He's helping you to come and be the bride. He'll deal with your heart about worldliness. You know? But He'll also give you precious things. The Holy Ghost will uh, give you a blessing. Let you feel God's presence. Let you know how great it is to serve the Lord. He will bless you in ways just like that servant took out those jewels and gave to Rebecca. He showed her that there's great things if you want to come and be my, my master's son's wife. And it's the same way with us. God shows us great things. He shows us great things in the Holy Ghost to show us that He has the the everything we need if we are willing to go. If we are willing to be His bride. Now, can you just go right now and be His bride? No. You've got to go on a journey, don't you? You've got to go on a journey. This journey has lasted me almost 50 years. I've been on a journey going to, the, to see the sun going to be the bride. And I've had to stay on that journey. Now, Rebecca, she could have said, oh, this is a long way. I think I'm going to turn back and go. Go back to my home. 
This is too hard. This is too hard a journey. The thing is, Could the she have turned back? In this, in this, like, in the New Testament, the world is her parents, and they're asking if she can stay for a few more days. Right. You're right, Orion. That's right. They wanted her to stay a little while, not go straight out and... And, and the, that's what the devil will do. He'll come and say, Now, you're too young to want to serve God. You won't, you won't get to do a lot of the things in the world that you already wanted to do. If you go serve God now, if you go to be the bride now, you'll be stuck in that. That's what the devil wants. He wants people on the journey to turn off and say, I, I, I can't make it. He wanted Rebecca. The devil would like to have turned Rebecca back while she was heading to Isaac. But you know what? I just think in her heart she was thinking about, what's this Isaac going to be like? If, if this servant, he's just a servant, and he's given me all these clothes and jewels and blessings that I never had in my life, I, I think I'll keep going. You know, I feel blessings from the Holy Ghost that I never expected in my life. Amen. I never expected to feel the presence of God like I have, I have felt His presence on this journey. In this journey, I never want to turn back. I never. I want to keep going because I want to see that son. Yes, amen. I want to see that one that I'm going to be married to, that I'm the bride of. And there's, that's what Rebecca did. She hung in there. It was perhaps a long and a tough journey, but she held on and she got herself ready to meet the master's son. And that's what God wants us to do. And even no matter how long it is, no matter how tough it is, Brother Jose, don't get your eyes off of Jesus. He's the bridegroom. Keep your eyes on the bridegroom. Maybe you've never seen him. I know we've never seen him. We've read about him. We've, you know, we've been with him as far as the Spirit of the Lord helping us. But to ever just lay eyes on the bridegroom, we haven't yet, have we? Well, when, when she saw him afar off, when she saw him afar off and she said, Who is this? Can you see Him afar off? Can you see Jesus afar off? How far may He be? He may just be as close as this and her right now. Jesus may come today for His bride. That's why I use the word rapture. Because we're all headed in the direction of the bridegroom. And where is that? That is the rapture. We're going to meet Him on the cloud. And that could be in a moment, right now, it could happen right now, that the rapture would come. And the bride, we're, we're, we're part of the bride. If you don't know you're part of the bride, you probably aren't. Nehemiah, if you don't think you're part of Jesus' bride, you're probably not part of His bride. Gloria, same thing. You can't be indecisive Rebecca when they said will you go what did she say yes. what did she say Amani yes. she said yes I will go she could look down and see the jewels that he'd given her she could realize that I'm going to go live a different life than I ever have it's going to be great it's going to be joy unspeakable and full of glory all those blessings that she's received all throughout her life how many of you that's been heading on that journey to go through the bridegroom. How many of you have had blessings? Oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Nehemiah, you ever had a blessing from, blessing from the Lord? Oh, I know. I've seen you when you had it. Lori, I've seen you have a great blessing from the Lord. Those are things, you too, Clayton, those are things that God gives you along the way to make you know that when you get there, <laughs> you're going to be so glad you're part of the bride. You're not going to wish that you had never gone that way. It's not going to be like that. You're going to be just like Rebecca. She saw Isaac at a distance. And she liked what she saw. 
<laughs> she liked what she saw. We're seeing him at a distance now. But we like what we see. Yes, amen. We like to see this, this uh, man called Jesus that gave his life for me, gave his life for his bride. He died for his bride, didn't he? Yes, amen. He died for us. We're his bride. You take in your heart, say, I say yes. Yes. Anybody else? Yes. I say yes. yes. What about delaying? Do you want to delay? No. No. Get me on the journey. I'm not going to sit and say, well, I'm not sure I want to leave my mama. Not sure I want to leave my daddy. Oh, no, she didn't quibble about it. She said yes. Amen. See, the Lord knows that's what you want. That's why you're part of the bride. The bride... Don't sit around and think, do I really love this bridegroom or not? <laughs> uh oh, the bride's saying, well, when? When? When am I going to get to finally see him? And I can see Rebecca right there. I can see her as she rode along. She's thinking, when do I finally get to see him? When do I finally get to see him? And then when the camel rounded that last curve and she looked out there and she saw that man and she said, Who is that? Who is that? I remember uh, today somebody asked about the song, Who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness dressed in robes of white? I don't know where that song She wanted the sheet music for it. I don't have it. But I thought... Who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness, dressed in robes of white, leaning on her beloved? We're one day going to get to lean on our beloved. Yes. Bill, even though you're as tall as you are, you're going to get to lean on your beloved one day. Mm -hmm. Jesus is going to be that wonderful <laughs> reward at the end of the journey. It's not jewels. It's not gold. It's not those kind of things, though they could be part of it. You know, the streets are made of gold and, and the walls are, got, are made of jewels. That's wonderful, but this is the one we're looking for. It's not Isaac. It's not Isaac, is it? It's this one. Right. It's this one who's written our name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Have you got your mind made up that you're going to be part of the bride? Yes. That you're not going to live half in the world and half out? But you're going to be part of the bride? You're going to act like part of the bride? I am his bride. <laughs> <laughs> was it Brother Michael that said, last time I was the groom, now this time I'm going to be the bride? Mm. You men, I know it's strange for you to be called the bride, but it isn't, is it, really? Because it means that you are completely His. Completely His. God is preparing a bride for His Son. She's the one that's going to say, Sister Cindy, because of what you did for us today, She's going to say, would you like some water? And I'll give water to your camels also. Meaning I'm not lazy. I'm not selfish. I'm willing to give. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to become everything that the Lord wants me to become. And when she was asked, will you go? She said, yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is preparing a bride for his son. And when that happens, look, it's going to be a lot of people. It's not going to just be me. It's not going to just be you. It's going to be people from all the generations. People that were resurrected when the rapture happened, 
and are going to meet on the cloud from all generations and we're all going to be there with the sun. You want to go there, Clayton? We're going to be there with the sun and he is going to welcome us and we are going to be his bride. Just make up your mind. I'm going. I'm going. If you look at Rebecca's life after that, you find out that Isaac always loved her. From what I can see, he always loved her. He, they went down to Egypt, and um, they were. Uh, he was told Pharaoh and them down there that this was his sister. And Pharaoh looked out the window and it said that Isaac was sporting with Rebecca. I don't know what that means. Sporting means they were having fun together. <laughs> yeah, probably flirting and stuff. Well, that doesn't sound like she was not happy. Sound like she was having a good time with Isaac. <coughs> and the Pharaoh said, that's not your sister, that's your wife. So, Rebecca had a good life. She couldn't have any children for a while, and Isaac prayed, and God gave her the twins, Jacob and Esau. So she was the mother of all the Jews because the Jews came through Jacob. So Rebecca was blessed, 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 blessed. So I just want you to understand that when you agree to be the bride, Bill, Netta, Tammy, when you agree to be the bride, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be greatly blessed. You're going to be called on to work, right? You're going to be called on to stand true, stay on the journey, and you're going to be called on to keep your eyes on your bridegroom. Because God is preparing you to meet him. You don't want to you don't want to turn aside, do you? You want to make it all the way. Okay, that's it for Sunday school this morning. God bless y'all. We'll be back in our regular Sunday school next week, I think. Okay. <laughs> You resist them. Go, you have that bill. Yeah. I know it. But she's gonna sing it. Do you, it's called what? A thank you song. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, baby. Two little words. Two little words. Two little words. Not goodbye. It's the end of the year. Graduation is here. Two little words to our teachers, moms, dad. Grandparents and all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you for all that you've done. You taught us to read and write. You taught us to learn. Taught us to be alright and how to take our turns. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone, thank you for all that you done. Are you done? Okay, <laughs> that's, okay. that's real good, Amari. Good job, Good hey, job. Lord, uh, take that from her where she doesn't feel in her mouth. I'm scared for her. Okay. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to pray.
page 100. Thank you. 
Yeah, but you have me up. Look right there. singing this song when I went and picked her up this morning. We were talking about all the things that were going wrong and it, it kind of punctuated the whole the whole uh, scenario of how everything had gone wrong. <laughs> so y'all wondering what it is, don't you? Yeah, but we stomped on the devil. <laughs> well, let's just listen to me. Yeah, my jacket just caught in the ass. <laughs> all right, ready, Sister Rita? We're gonna we're gonna surprise them with this song, aren't we? Well, be flat. Well, I feel good. I feel good.
Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Be good. Feel good about their soul. Feel good about what God's doing for you. Thank you, Sister Rita. That's good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Got it? Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Ezekiel 34. Y'all look there. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate our musicians helping today. It was good. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel 34, I'm going to read verse 26. and I will make them and the places around about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in this season there shall be showers of blessing <laughs> Praise God. Woo! hallelujah Hallelujah. If you want a shower of blessing, raise your hands and begin to praise Him for promising it. Oh, hallelujah. There shall be showers of blessing. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your showers of blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God for those showers of blessing. You may be seated if you can. Hallelujah. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land be devoured them, and they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Hallelujah. And they shall know that I, the Lord their God, even am with them, and, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord God. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. Glory to God. He wants us to know there shall be showers of blessing. Where are they going to come? Where you are. <laughs> you may be home. You may be crying out to the Lord all by yourself. And suddenly, a shower comes down on you. A shower of blessing just springs out of nowhere. Just bless, blessing you. Blessing you. Blessing you. Hallelujah. There shall be showers of blessing. He didn't say a little bit. He didn't say just every now and then. He said there shall be showers of blessing. Showers. <laughs> Have you felt a little shower this morning? Yes. Hallelujah. Let it come on down on you. Hallelujah. Some people don't want there to be a shower on them. They don't want to get wet. <laughs> you get wet. It's all over you. When a shower sudden, suddenly comes up, let's say you're walking from the car to the house, and suddenly a shower comes up, your hair might be just like you want it. It ain't going to be like that anymore. It's all wet. <laughs> Your clothes are all wet. You're wet. If it's a big shower, you're wet completely. You're just wet. Your shoes are wet. Your socks are wet. Your everything is wet. And you're wiping it off your face and wiping it off your glasses. Oh, glory to God. We're not talking about rain. We're not talking about water. We're 
talking about the blessing of the Lord. Right. It's all over you. Yes. People can see it. <laughs> Oh, my hair, I had it all dolled up just like I wanted it. Now it's all straggled down. <laughs> yes! It's got the blessing of God upon it. Yes, amen. <laughs> Woo! Some people worried about their hair getting long. You know, they're worried about what, what, when it gets hot, what am I going to do? Just let the blessing of God shine down on you. It'll cool you off. Oh, it'll make you cool. It'll make you happy. Hallelujah. You won't care what you look like in the mirror. You'd be glad what you look like before the blessing and after the blessing. Right. Yes. Yes. You bless me, Lord. Yes. Oh, there shall be showers. He's done showers of blessing. Woo! So, shower is singular, right? Showers is plural. So, how many? Two or more. Two or more. Could that mean 15? Mean 200? 6,000? 10 million? Showers! Whoa! Lord, give us 10 million blessings this week. Showers! A shower of blessing. Send a shower of blessing down upon us. Hallelujah! He loves you. He cares about you. How thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Got anybody in here weary? Mm. Not now. <laughs> you were. Okay. Hallelujah. Me and Sister Rena, we were pretty weary this morning when, until we started singing, I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. That is a shower of blessing. It might be just little right. pr little trickles of rain just coming down on us a little bit, right, sister? But every time we started singing it, we laughed. I feel good. Whoa! Just to know I've been redeemed, bought back by the blood of the Son of God. Makes me feel good. Showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. Hey, uh, Sila, Granny's preaching. Not you. You'd be all right. She's learning. When we had a little girl named Sabrina, we called her Screamer. <laughs> She's grown now. But when she was in church, you'd hear screams. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said in Malachi 3 and 10, Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me, and now herewith saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Have you been bringing the tithes into the storehouse? Yes. Yes, you have. He said... And prove me now here when, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Oh, the goodness of God helping us because we're doing what He said to do. Yes. Amen. There shall be showers of blessing. Hallelujah. In 1 Kings 18... You read over, let's go over in James 5. It talk, it gives us a little synopsis of what happened. Verse 17 says, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. It hadn't rained. I don't know about y'all, but it hasn't rained for a month here. Or two months. It is dry. The grass is crinkly. When you walk over it, it's crinkling. It's too dry. That's two months at most. Can you imagine three years and six months? It had not rained. The devil wants it never to rain on your life. He wants you never to get a blessing from God. Is it right? 
He wants your life to be dry, dry, dry. Crinkly dry. But the Lord said, there shall be showers of blessing. So who are you going to believe? <laughs> who are you going to believe? There shall be showers of blessing, Clayton. Showers for you. Hallelujah. You don't get saved and God just say, well, that's enough of Him. No. He's thinking on you. He's thinking about how to bless you. He's going to show you how much He loves you. He's thinking on you. Yes. Hallelujah! God. Don't you know He's blessed me this morning several times, many times, many showers of blessing already? We're in church. You expect blessings in church, don't you? <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you should! We're in His house. I know. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Well, I've got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Well, I've got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. 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 I didn't know I was going to sing that song. <laughs> yeah, the devil wanted me to keep off that one, didn't he? He wanted to keep me, keep me off I feel good. He wanted to keep me off any of these songs about lift me up above the shadows, Netta. Yes, amen. <laughs> Jesus makes me happy because he knows how. He wants us to stay off of them. God put a rainbow in the cloud. He wants us to stay off of them old songs. He don't want us to think about how God can take a bad situation and cause showers of blessing to come out of it. Praise God, amen. Showers of blessing to come out of that bad situation. Sister Eddie, right? We're going to look for it. Hallelujah. He said, ask you of the Lord in Zechariah 10 and 1. Rain in the time of Aladdin rain. Ask him. Ask him, Lord, I can use a few showers, a blessing. Yes. Why did I lift my hands when I said that? Well, why are you bringing an umbrella when you ask for rain? Right. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> I'm wanting them showers of blessing, Lord. Pour a two, out, two on me at once. <laughs> Here's both hands. Fill them both up. Whoa! Come on now! Ask Him, y'all! Ask Him! Stand up and raise your hands and ask Him for two blessings. One for each hand. Lord, give me a shower. Give me two showers of blessing. One for each hand, Lord. Give me two showers of blessing. Go ahead. Move that weariness off of Sister Annie. Lord, give her a shower of blessing of feeling good. Hallelujah. Move every bit of that trouble in her eye for Sister Pam. Oh, God, move it off of us, the trouble that we've been feeling. Go ahead and bless Clayton, Lord. He's your little child. He's your little son. Bless him, Lord. Oh, give us those. Give Gloria that shower of a blessing, Lord. Oh, many showers. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God for the showers of blessing you poured out on us. We're asking you, Lord, in the time of the latter rain, we're asking you for rain. Wet us, wet us, wet us real wet. Get us soaked down wet with a blessing, with two blessings. Soak us down, Lord. Whoa! Hallelujah. Glory! Go ahead, Sister Martha. Be, 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 be serious with him. Let him know, I'm really asking you for the rain in the time of the latter rain. I'm really asking you, Lord, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. He promised it. He's going to make those bright clouds. They're full of rain. And oh, as you walk around, the showers are going to come down upon you. Showers of rain. Oh, glory, glory, glory. And He shall come unto us as the rain 
as the latter and former reign under the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Elijah, he prayed and y'all can sit down if you want to. He prayed in three and a half years. Oh my, what a prayer, huh? Don't let it rain, Lord. Hadn't rained for three and a half years. So then when after he had called down fire from heaven on the Mount Carmel, he had to go pray again. What was he praying again for? Praying for rain. <coughs> praying for it. He prayed the first time. <coughs> had the servant go look. Looking for clouds. <laughs> looking for a sign of rain. Ooh, look for it now, y'all. Look for that sign of rain. Looking for it. Looking for it. Looking for it. Looking for rain. He went back second time. I'm going to go back there. He went that second time. First Kings 18. He went that second time. No, nothing, nothing. Go look toward the sea. He said, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Have you ever got down like that? There's nothing. I didn't get blessed. Ain't nothing. So went six times. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. Elijah's going, Lord, send the rain. Lord, send the rain. Come on, help me. Lord, send the rain. Lord, send the rain. Send the rain. Send the showers of blessing. Send them. Send them. Hallelujah. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. Lord, send the rain. Send the rain so my husband can be saved. Send the rain so my babies and my children can be saved. Send the rain so that my family will be sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Send the rain, Lord. Send the rain. Send the rain. Send the rain. We go back and we look. We don't see it. We don't see anything. We keep praying. We keep praying. It came to pass the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. Like a man's hand. How would you like the Lord to lay his hand on you? Would that be a shower of blessing? Lay his hand on you. Well, how would you like him to lay his hand on your lost son? How would you like him to lay his hand on your, on your children, on your grandchildren? How would you like him to lay his hand and bless them? It came out of the sea like a man's hand. A little cloud. But you know what? Elijah didn't see a little cloud, did he? He saw. Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. He knew one little sign, one little message. There shall be showers of blessing. One little message, Nina. One little message from your pastor telling you the Bible says there shall be showers of blessing. I'm taking it. I'm holding on to it. I'm believing it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take that biggest worry you got in your mind right now. Take it to Him. Take it to Him. Say, Lord, rain on this. Rain on this. Rain on it. Rain on this. Rain on this. Oh, glory to God. Rain on it, Lord. Rain on it. Hallelujah. Let those showers of blessing come down on it. I was thinking of Lee's leg. Rain on her leg, Lord. Let your showers of blessing come down on her leg. Let your showers of blessing come down on Don's back today. Oh, glory to God. Let your showers of blessing come down on us. Oh, hallelujah, on our lost families. Let them feel, hallelujah, a cloud the silent like a man's hand coming over their life. And let the showers of blessing begin to pour out on them. Let them feel something like they've never felt before. Oh, glory to 
to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And it came to pass that meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. And there was a great rain. Hallelujah. Showers. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we praise you for giving such a promise in your word. Yes. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 34 and 26. You forget it. Look up Ezekiel 34. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Hallelujah. I want y'all to begin to be weather reporters. I want you to come in and if you've had a shower of blessing, I want you to stand up and say, I got one today. <laughs> Oh, I got one. You got two? Yeah, I fixed all that food and cream, loaded up my car, and it wouldn't turn over at all. In a very short time, I had two people there trying to make sure I got to church for that food. <laughs> yeah. Two showers of blessing. Showers. Give us a song. That was a shower of blessing for me. Hallelujah. I want you to do that. I want you to give the weather report every day. Come to church. Say, let me report two showers, three showers, ten showers. <laughs> I mean, we're going to prove it. We're going to prove His Word. Prove me now. That's what He said, wasn't it? When He, when he said that, uh, bring ye all the tithes in the, to the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Prove me now. Prove, we're going to prove him. Come back into God's house and say, I'm reporting ten showers. <laughs> Want me to tell you about all of them? All right. I'll tell you about all of them. Hallelujah. He's helping me preach this message. A shower of blessing. A shower of blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're His bride. <laughs> that Sunday school lesson was a blessing to me. <laughs> I was feasting on it while I was teaching it. <laughs> I'm His bride. The Lord's preparing me. He's getting me ready. I'm going to be there. He's going to be glad for me. I'm going to be glad for him. Oh, we're going to be so happy. Me and him. <laughs> and y'all too. <laughs> y'all going to be happy with him too. We're all going to be happy. Everybody will be happy over there. <laughs> Why? Yeah, that servant, he gave her jewels. He gave her gifts. He gave her clothes. He wanted her to know where you're going. You're going to be blessed the whole way. You're going to be blessed. There's going to be showers of blessing. It's all coming all over you. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there. I want you to remember this message. I want you to remember it. I want you to remember the one that promised it. Who was it? Was, is he a liar? No. Is he not strong enough to do it? Is he, is he strong enough to send showers of yes. blessing? Yes. Is he strong enough to keep his promise? Is he willing? Yes. <laughs> he said, ask. Didn't he? Yes. He said, ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. When Elijah got down to business and started asking. I don't know how fast that man came and got went. I don't know how fast he came and went. 
Maybe you came the first time and went back and watched and watched and then came back. Maybe, maybe Elijah had to pray for an hour or so. Maybe he had to pray for six, seven hours. I mean, maybe, we don't know. All I know is Elijah. Oh, it. He wanted. Do you want showers of blessing? Yes. Oh, you'll get wet. Drown me, Lord. You'll get wet. Yes. Everybody will see you wet. Why are, why are you so happy today, Sister Linda? I caught one of them showers. It caught me. It caught me in the open. It just wet me from my head all the way to my toes, down all the way deep inside of me. Hallelujah. It wet me until I'm wet all over, till I'm baptized in that shower of blessing. Down deep as I can go. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't know if I want that or not. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. Yes. You want it. And God promised there shall be showers of blessing. Hallelujah. I want us to all come stand up here right now. And I want you to lift your arms right here at this altar. And I want you to begin to pray that God would come upon this church and this altar and pour out showers of blessing. Come on. Whoever is listening, whoever's praying at this altar, just pray, God, send your showers of blessing yes. upon this altar, upon our church, upon everyone that comes and everyone that watches, upon everything we do. Let showers of blessing come down upon it. Let every one of us be blessed with the showers of blessing. Let the showers of blessing come down at this altar when people come and pray. Let them knit, touch the ground with their knee and begin to be blessed by the showers of blessing that's falling on them. Right here at this altar. And oh God, we thank you for it. We thank you for blessing everyone. Lord, everybody that's out there sick that's watching us right now, let a shower come down on them to heal their body. Let their body be healed by that shower coming down from you. We praise you for it this morning. Thank you for healing. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for the anointing. The shower of blessing be it upon them, Lord. We praise you for it and thank you for it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's believe in you now, too. Right. Come on, children. Can we pray for Dad quickly? Can we pray for Dad and his back? Yeah. And Bill and his head. Is Bill hurting? Hey. Is Bill hurting? Hey. His head is hurting. Okay. It was because of his son yesterday. Right. And... Father, we look to you in the name of Jesus. We praise you and ask you for help. For Brother Don and for Bill. Lord, will you touch the Bill's head and will you touch... Dad's back, Lord, in Jesus' name. Will you heal them by your stripes? Lord, you promised healing, and we ask for the blessing of healing for Brother Don and blessing of heal, healing for Brother Bill. Thank you for it. We praise you for it. Thank you for it. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, children. Praise God. Love Jesus, love each other. Love Jesus, love each other. Love Jesus, love each other. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet. Oh, what a day. See y'all tonight. What a day. 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 What a day.